Don't submit, die. Die, die. Dead, okay. And I guess I can take that. Yeah, we're good, okay. Oh! Okay, she is significantly weaker than the last guy. That's a good thing. Oh my. I really need to get a better shout. Don't heal, that is not what I want you to do. That's what I thought, okay. All right, so that's okay. That went decently well, I guess. It just took forever, but hey, this is legendary difficulty. And now let's go see if we can unlock that master chest, pull out my dagger again. I seem to be at a point where I'm really not gonna be able to do my plan without like, what the? Interesting. I've never seen that chain before. What's in here? I'll take it all. Yeah, anyway, it seems like my dagger plan really isn't going to work just for the plain fact that I can't do enough damage yet. So until I can get a better dagger, anyway, let's unlock the chest. Wow, that was not what was supposed to happen. Looks like it's right about there. Oh, look at that! First time! Cool. Spell Tome Fear, Amethyst Ring, and I'll take the Soul Gem. Book here. And let's learn that. There it is. Even though I'm not going to be a mage. Okay. I'm pretty sure I also have a spell that I keep forgetting to use. Muffle, there we go. So... Wow, I need to get my Majika up. How much does that one need exactly? It needs 127, so I need like two more levels. Well, I'm not going to be a mage, but that one seems like it'll be kind of useful. And it might be good to get that up for healing anyway. Even though I really desperately want more health. <laughs> Orcish sword, okay, I'll, I'll take it. It really seems that the harder difficulties you play on, the more rewarding they are with weapons at the beginning. This is another, like, way longer than I ever expected it to be dungeon. Okay, so there's some dragger here. And I know for a fact, even though I do six times the damage, I can't actually kill them. I mean, let's just find out here. Let's see how much damage this dagger does. This, there's one right there, too. Is that a pressure plate? No. See, decent amount. If I could go through the door and let them just fight it out. So that was a decent amount. If the stagger did like 10 damage, I'd probably be able to kill something. But after this, I'm definitely going to focus a little bit more on the Dark Brotherhood because I really want their armor. And then I think I'm just going to have to go do a bunch of... Uh, Yarl quests because they're usually easier you get some money from that and it'll be really good for leveling up because right now I, I can't even kill an ice wraith to do the storm cloak quest so I mean all right Farkas did you just get worse or something you were like wailing away at these things killing them so quickly and now you're like doing nothing Okay, let's see if I can do this again. Alright, that worked pretty well. I, I'm pretty sure that one's also alive, but you know what? Let's get my sneak up because it just gets up the more that I use it. Yeah, 
Yep, there we go. And that's the whole purpose of this playthrough, too, is to get my sneak up. So, however long it takes. I'll just wait for this to go away. Man, I can't even imagine how much easier this would be on normal difficulty if I'm already doing that type of damage here on Legendary where your damage is like halved by... I, I can't remember what it, what it is. I think your damage is like decreased by 75% or something ridiculous. Well, that's not good. Looks like we're taking this out again. Whoops. That is way better against Draugr. Okay, apparently I need to sneak up on them with silver weapons, so I probably should go look up like where some good daggers are in this game. Because that was awesome damage. Which means I could probably kill them with a silver dagger, which I wish one of these guys would drop, but none of them will. Oh, no, 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 Oh my gosh. She's not back here. There is nothing back here. Oh, there she is. Literally have no idea where she comes from, but there she is. Finally. Farkas, help. Help. Thank you. Okay. So, it seems that I'm really gonna have to focus on getting some better armor, which means I'm probably gonna go do some research on where to get, uh... Or I can go get it easily, and mostly better daggers. I'm gonna go look up where all the daggers are. Because I know how to get my runes razor, but I am like a thousand percent sure that I'm not gonna be getting that. Because if this is this hard, where just one person kills me in two hits, then there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna be killing Briar Hearts. Okay, so that should be easier because she's dead. Now, I also learned that one hour of Skyrim recording is equal to 400 gigabytes for fraps anyway. Alright, so I thought that might go a little bit better, but no, I think you attracted them all. Okay, let's get up here and avoid that. We can try to poison them as much as we can. Marcus, you can help me now. I don't know why he's kind of glitching like this, sitting there doing nothing, but oh well. Ah, crap. Okay, if you want to chase after her, that's fine, just as long as you don't die. Looks like he's finally kicking into reality. Although I guess it's kind of good because it lets me take out as much of uh, them as I can and he doesn't even take any health damage, so I don't know, that's a really weird glitch, but you kind of feel like they would have fixed all this with the remastered version, but not likely. Seems all they did was make the textures better and nothing else. Oh well. Yes, stagger her more there, Farkas, that is a very, very good thing to do. I really think, though, I'm definitely going to have to get my damage up. So if I don't have uh, 50 sneak by the time I level up, then it's going to go right into one-handed. Probably should also get my light armor up, but, you know, it's just... I'm going to need better light armor. That's all there is to that. Oh, there we go. It's like, why isn't my keyboard working? And it was because I was hitting the wrong keys there. All right, finally you're dead. Wait, is that Imperial Bow better? I'll buy it, I'll take it anyway. I'll sell it. 
Okay, holy wow. Legendary is not really a joke. <laughs> trying to do this with, although I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do this area with somebody since they force them on you, but trying to do this without a companion I think is just gonna be like impossible. I thought maybe it'd be kind of fun, but no, Lydia, Lydia will be mine as soon as this is over with. Although this whole, this whole dang dungeon seems to, it seems like it's gonna be taking up my whole day of Skyrim just because it's taking so dang long and we're not even close to done yet. I mean, we still have to go over there. <laughs> so I might be turning down the difficulty before the end. Uh, what? Why was he hiding in that? That was creepy. Why the heck was he hiding in there like a vampire? Alright, so I think... Okay, that, that must be other silver hand. Let's get my sneak up. I mean, did they just need a silver hand here so they, like, put different armor on him and put a different name and he's, like, the same as a dragger? put him in the coffin. <laughs> so it seems like that's what they did. Why the heck else would you sit there and sleep with your arms crossed? Let's have vampires sleep. Uh oh. That hurt me. Okay. Yes, thank you, Sneak. So it appears there are four of them inside of there. Yep. So is there anything I can do to kill them? I kind of wish they had more traps in this dungeon. Alright, well, good opportunity to get more sneak. So, I mean, if anything, this was worth it just for that. I'm a little bit confused as to why I'm not killing them in one hit anymore. I swear, if this guy kills me. Okay. It's quite a bit of gold you got for you. So I thought I was going to be able to buy a house, but I can't until I get 5,000 gold. And at that point, that almost makes me want uh, makes me want to just build my own house. So I may go do that too, because... It's kind of nice being able to put your own rooms and everything up. Alright, so it looks like there's going to be one there. I'm just gonna let them two fight it. I don't want to wake up that other one yet. There we go. By who? By what? Okay, that's what I thought. And we'll just finish him off quickly here. I love that one. Okay. Quick save. Down we go. So I know there's at least four silver hand waiting for me. Let's go for this guy first. Ooh, almost level up. Ouch. That would be my level up. Still not enough for 50 sneaks, so I guess that means... Oh, man. 
man. Do I want Majika? It'd be nice to have Muffle, but... I seriously, once again, just need more health, but let's get more stamina. Well, no. Health, 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 and health, I think. Okay, and seriously, though, let's get some light armor. <laughs> okay. Wow, I can't even get that one. Alright, we'll go for one-handed. We'll get more damage. Yeah, we could get that one. Let's just check out some of these others. So, attack with swords. Does that count as dagger? Standing, do uh, standing power attacks do 25% damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. See, so then hack and slash, that's war axes. So, I guess if daggers count as blades, I could do that one. But for now, we'll get more damage up. We'll see how that works with this guy. Do six times the damage with this sword that's more effective against undead, so hopefully I can one-hit him at least. It's been a while since I've one-hit one of you. Nope. Didn't even really do anything. <laughs> oh well. Alright, if you wanna if you wanna take my take it away from me, then fine, Farkas. <laughs> fine, you, you can. It's the only thing I'm good at, but okay, wow, they're all dead. I hope, anyway. I'll take that gold. Take that gold. Take that gold. Hawk feathers. Don't care about the wine. Do I care about the wine? Nah, I don't care about the wine. Uh, I'll take the arrow, the gold. Take you, Songs of Return, because I like collecting books, and that one might be okay, actually. So I'm gonna, let's put that scroll in my favorites really quick here. So I may be needing that for the end of this dungeon. Anything up here, just an urn. Sometimes there's good stuff in these things. Okay, well this seems to be the evil place. Let's see what's inside of here. I don't know why the adept locks seem to give me more problems than the master locks do sometimes. There we go. Nothing. <laughs> I thought there'd be a room and it's just stuff with like cure disease potions and vampire dust. Ruined books and ice wraith teeth. Well, that was pointless. Did I see a chain? No. 